Today, when buying equipment for a home media center, more and more people are choosing projector as the image display device. There are several reasons for that. Firstly, is the large size of the image, which can be several meters wide. Secondly, is the compact size and low weight of the projector itself. Thirdly, a good projector costs about half as much as a 42-inch LCD display, or a PDP. It's easy to connect and easy to set up. It's compact and inexpensive. What else does an average customer need? Indeed, an average customer doesn't want to waste money. Projectors have many various features. However, one of the most important things is the technology used to produce the image. Today, you can buy either an LCD or a DLP projector. LCD projectors use liquid crystal technology. They are somewhat like film or slide projectors. An LCD panel is used instead of film. A digital electronic circuit creates images on the panel. The light of the lamp goes through three panels, each displaying a color and a lens. As the result, we can see a multifold increased image on the screen. DLP projectors use digital light processing technology. Light is reflected from the surface of a special chip, about 15 by 11 millimeters in size. Several millions of microscopic mirrors on the surface of the chip form the image. Then light travels through a photic disk and a lens and is finally projected onto the screen. Micromirror arrays are an example of the innovation technology. These are the so-called MEMS devices or microelectromechanical systems. Both LCD and DLP technologies have their own advantages. LCD projectors produce luminous flux of high intensity and their image has good color saturation. DLP projectors produce a high contrast image. Apart from that, DLP technology is used to create ultra lightweight portable and micro portable projectors. Another advantage of DLP is the absence of screen door effect. In this case, pixels in DLP projectors with SVGA resolution can only be seen if the image is zoomed in considerably. And the last point, the optical system of a DLP projector is sealed in a casing which protects it from dust. This type of design allows to avoid using filters in ventilation system. This makes cooling more efficient, reduces maintenance and enhances durability of the device. But what about drawbacks? Unfortunately, there is a one big minus. DLP technology works perfectly for static images, but if the image is moving and if the viewer is blinking or quickly moving his eyes between different parts of the screen, then artifacts may appear. The viewer will see a rainbow or color flashes. Some people even complain about headaches and itchy eyes. Here everything depends on the individual peculiarities and perception of each viewer. So what do we choose? If you are choosing a projector for your home, then you may choose a DLP. It has better contrast, its black color is deeper, and the whole image is smoother than in LCD projectors with the same resolution. But you should also make sure that neither you nor any other potential viewers are susceptible to artifacts, which are a side effect of DLP technology. To do this, you simply need to watch how this particular model works.